agenda and development experts. Trends. Right now, girls below the age of five years are the target. So even as we are going out sensitizing our community, we are forgetting that we have children who do not even know what the clitoris is or even why it is being hurt. And it is our responsibility, all of us, to come out and speak for those small children. Secondly, medicalization is on the rise. A large percentage of the girls who are being cut right now are children and they are being cut by medics. Either it is either a medic, a person who has trained as a medical officer, or a person who is uh, um, masquerading as a medic. Either way, it is happening in clinics, it is happening in homes, and they are using all the medical equipment that they can use to justify the cut. We are gathered here to mark the International Day on Zero Tolerance of Female Genital Mutilation. As the current government of Kisi, we are working towards zero tolerance of female genital mutilation. And as a government, we've had three policies in place that are working towards protecting the girl child. Leonard Chesoli, Assistant County Commissioner uh, for Kisi Central Sub County. The government is committed in the fight against the FTM and we are working with all stakeholders to ensure that we educate the public, spread their awareness and uh, we also enforce uh, the legal, legal, legal enforcement on those perpetrators to ensure that uh, they differ from Maranga Magori, uh, the project coordinator, the social project. Working under so the county still is at uh, 74 percent uh, preference, but uh, already it's very high. Though we have made it as much from 4 percent, uh, Kenya Demographic and Health Survey of 2014, the one of 2022, it has reduced by 10 percent. But uh, another worry is there is uh, other new trends that are coming, like a medicalization of FGM. Today, I've seen many private hospitals here, we have health sector and the uh, county and national government, we want to look for a way so that uh, medicalization, which is now becoming uh, uh, really, which is increasing. It was in, in 2014, the preference was around uh, 20%, but uh, the out of 2022 KDHS, it is at uh, 56%. It is really worrying. So if we look at the traditional circumstances, they are really reducing, but the med medical practitioners, they are really increasing. So we. I ask that I urge our government entities, civil societies, to come together, hold hands, so that uh, we can eliminate this FGM this account. Join this venture today here uh, to also commemorate the, the world's, world's day, to say our future, our voice, our future. And uh, during our August and the December holidays, we usually conduct anti FGM campaigns where yeah, we organize booty camps for our girls from all the nine sub-counties. Uh, from the past two years we have done, uh, we did the first one at Yomo Bera uh, Primary and Boarding School, where we trained girls on uh, various aspects uh, fight against uh, FGM, a booty camp. We also did, uh, last year we did um, an anti-FGM campaign at Induru Girls, where we sensitized our girls to say no to FGM and the rest. So as the office, through the Kitty of GAF, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, there is a program that we call Countywide Projects where we do proposals to the National Government Affirmative Action Fund to support this program. Protected uh, 4, 40,000 girls. We are, pro I mean, we are successful, successful because we use a unique approach which is value-centered approach. We listen to the ideas of the people, we don't judge them, we give them knowledge according to scientific research, and then we leave them to decide by themselves. And that has made us very successful, protected many guys. Parents have, have decided to protect their guys because they have got the knowledge. And at the end, December, we celebrate the guys. We don't use a rite of passage, but we do it as a community event, whereby parents bring their guys who they have decided to protect sustainably. And this has made it possible and successful. And today we are here with a theme of her voice, 
her future. So men, women, youth, let us join hands together to protect our grandchild in the whole of Kissing County.